Hey guys, welcome back. So today's vlog, we are doing a little holiday home tour and showing you guys how I decorated for Christmas this year. Just a little heads up disclaimer, it's really simple, kind of low key. I mean, for me anyways, I mean, there's like, there's a lot of stuff out, but I didn't go overboard this year. I didn't buy tons and tons of new stuff. So if you saw last year's, it's kind of like a similar vibe, very wintry and cozy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated. Also, chef stuff is coming up at the end. You guys keep asking for chef stuff, so I am delivering. I am delivering you a recipe that is good. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. Look how long David is. He's literally like yeah. six feet long. Do you see that? <laughs> David, David. David, 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 David Baina. Hi. So I'll start with the fireplace mantle because I did switch it up. I got rid of my old clock. I was over the clock. So I just got this big, huge round mirror from Hobby Lobby. It was like 50% off. So I think it was like $60, which I was actually really impressed because it's so heavy and like good quality. So not that expensive. And then obviously I just put these candles here and this one, is a little bit bent so don't mind that um then over here pretty much the same as last year if you watched my vlog from last year i don't know why my camera does this but it acts like the lights are like not lit up but i didn't do any ornaments and i don't care i'm being minimalist aka lazy and dave just wants to eat everything so we're just leaving it bare this year and then the living room i have this cute little centerpiece that I did I just took this like little furry blanket put it in the middle and then I finally found a use for these wooden beads that I bought in the fall so I have this big candle here I'm obsessed with like big candles like this this one's from Target I think it's like balsam citrus this little marble tree and then over here I just have like a few throw pillows all from Target. Then on my end table, I just have another flocked tree and this little candle holder I'm using for remotes because we just have so many remotes and they're ugly. So I'm just throwing them in there for now. Also, sometimes we use this as a wine holder if we wanna just keep the wine in the living room with us. A little hack. Then over here, I have this cute little fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la, la la la. <laughs> and my palm blanket from Amazon. This is from Target. This is from Amazon. This blanket is also from Target. I didn't even unravel it yet. And then we have Rose over here being cute. Davey being cute. I'm waiting for their new bed to come in the mail. So right now this one is out in the living room. I have this little pillow for them over here as well. Santa, his reindeer, and his little sled if he wants to go sledding. And then over here I just have these books, this little tree, and that little guy. Everything is from Target, by the way. Like, legitimately everything. Here's my dining room this year. I kept it super simple because anytime we sit here, like, we have friends over to play games or something, everything has to be moved. So I'm just keeping it super simple. I have this really cute little flocked centerpiece from Target, of course. Then on my bench, I actually just used this old tree skirt that I wasn't currently using and put it on here. So just kind of fold it over, draped over the bench. Over here, we retired the fork and the spoon. So right now we have this picture, which doesn't really go at all, but it seemed so empty over here. So if you guys have any art suggestions that I can put in this empty space because it's very awkward, let me know. Over here, we just have our little mixer cart thing, this really pretty mercury glass tree, which I got from Home Goods a few years ago. More candlesticks, candelabras if you're fancy. And then there's me. Oh! Boys and girls, you gotta keep it quiet. Mama is filming. And here are the shelves in my dining room. These are, I think they light up. I don't know if they have batteries in them, but they're like little things. Should I try to see if they have batteries? Oh no, they definitely don't. Dude, so many batteries are required in this house. Like. Can't, it's 2019, can we just get rid of batteries altogether? Everything is from Target, minus this guy, which I believe I got from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, just cute, simple. Then in the kitchen, I have my neutered wreath. I chopped off its balls, if you saw <laughs> my last vlog. I got this at home because I really liked it, but it had these like weird like knitted balls, and I didn't like the balls, so it got a vasectomy. So there's that, and I just strung some of these little twinkle lights in there. 
This is my kitchen. We got my little Santa guy who holds wine between his legs. He's a champ, we love him. And then just random trees, candle. This candle is actually one of my favorites. I love the vanilla balsam. Cute hand towels, layered cutting boards, the Davy. And then over here, we just have another little tree, again from Target, and my countdown. And I saw this again at Target this year. I think they brought it back, so I think this is wrong. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what year it is. Let me be. But it is the most wonderful time of the year. I also have this cute little mat here, which it keeps driving me insane because it doesn't stay. But that's because it's a freaking bath mat and I bought it in the bath section. I was like, oh no, it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. It's not fine. It's never gonna be fine. But you know, tis the season. <laughs> Davey, you crazy. Then my entryway, um, I just have this little Noel sign. The lights on this stopped working, which I'm sad about. And then the lights on this garland stopped working also. So. It's a matter if I want to go get more lights and more batteries, but I'm okay with that for right now. Oh, and I almost forgot our letters to Santa. There are none. What is, what is even in there? What in the, yeah, there's no letters to Santa in there. And then more candles, peace on earth, peace on earth. And that's it. So pretty simple this year, but I really like it. It just feels very cozy and warm and simple and I don't feel overwhelmed, so. Let me know if you guys are into it. I just feel, doesn't that look cozy? Do you not wanna just sit right there forever and ever? I do. But yeah, that is basically it for this year's decor. Very simple. And I really didn't buy much stuff at all this year, which I'm very proud of myself. I kept it very minimal. And a lot of the stuff is like wintry themed versus straight up Christmas. So it's not something that I take everything down right after Christmas. I'll get rid of like the Santa things and like the reindeer things, but like all like the flocked stuff can stay because it's just very, pretty and like I said in my last vlog when it's the dead of winter here you just need something cozy and pretty in your house because how else do you decorate between January and March like our winter goes here until like end of April usually so I never know like how to decorate like it's too early for spring you know so yeah now I'm going to get into my world famous chicken wing dip it's not really world famous but it's about to be because this video is prestige worldwide. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I feel like my chicken wing dip is super good. It's game day here and I have not made it yet this year. So now is the perfect time and I can share it with you guys and you'll make it and you'll tell me how great it is. And then, you know, good vibes all around. So let's get to it. You didn't think I was just gonna throw these away, did you? This is perfect for Chef Steph. Wait, I have an apron, hold that thought. Check out my new apron that one of you guys sent me. So freaking cute. It says dinner is poured chef stuff custom made Personalization Okay, so first up is obviously cook your chicken or buy a can of chicken Which I don't know I feel like that always tastes like tuna fish to me or You know buy a rotisserie chicken and pick it apart, but I don't really like to do that So I just boiled some chicken breasts like two or three of them and some chicken broth so now I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Then I'm gonna add my package of cream cheese. I've had this sitting out, so it's nice and soft. But when you add it with the warm chicken, it will like start melting anyway. Next up, we have the buffalo sauce. I'm gonna do a half a cup of this or more if you like it spicy, but Tommy doesn't like spicy because he gets heartburn, so I'm being accommodating, of course. Then I'm gonna add a half a cup of ranch dressing, because ranch dressing is life. And then next I'm actually gonna add some barbecue sauce. This is like the lighter kind, Carolina style or whatever. And so where we live, we, I don't think this is like in other places because I've never seen it on a menu, but where we live basically all the pizzerias sell everything wings and it's not like everything bagel seasoning like it's not with seeds or anything like that basically it's just like everything as in like all the sauces so i'm adding a little bit of barbecue sauce to my sauce so it's more of like everything chicken wing dip it just adds a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of smokiness and it's super good so um i'm gonna add like half a cup of that as well. Next I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder because I like extra garlic. I don't really measure, but it's probably around like a teaspoon. Oh, that does not go in there, SML. No! How would that happen right now? 
You guys, oh good, oh good. My fingers are gonna be smelling like garlic for the next week. How do we, how do we, um, how do I get that out? We did it, we got it, we did it. That does not go there for the second time. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder because you need more seasoning. Again, I just kind of like eyeball it. Next, we're gonna add some blue cheese crumbles. You need that mixture of the ranch and the blue cheese. Trust me, you need these chunky chunks of blue cheese crumbles. So for this, I take like a half a cup and mix it in and then we'll probably sprinkle a little bit more on top. Then we get two types of cheese. We will not be shredding our own. We're just gonna do it straight up, pre-shredded from the grocery store because we don't have time for that. This is not the mac and cheese video, the $50 mac and cheese. Um, so I'm just gonna take a handful of this and this is just regular cheddar. And then I'm gonna take a handful of mozzarella and we will, again, sprinkle some more on the top later, but I like to have it mixed in just so you get that aesthetic cheese pull. So the mozzarella always gives you the cheese pull. Then we just stir it on together. And this is my Christmas spatula. This says I believe in Christmas because I do. You could do this in the crock pot too, but I like how the oven makes the top like more cheesy. And I don't have an Instapot or all these things. There's so many gadgets, I feel like I don't know. Where do you put them? I have like one cabinet and it's busting through the seams with a $700 Vitamix that I never use. Then I decided I need a little bit more buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the barbecue. Then I'm just gonna take this and transfer it to a baking dish. Spread it around town. This is super good. I don't even know if I'm gonna make anything else tonight or if we're gonna get pizza or not, but this is super good. I could just eat this with a fork and a spoon. <laughs> with a fork and a spoon. Then you know what's next, more cheese, okay? A little bit of cheddar. And then a little bit of blue because you need the blue. You can't just make this with ranch dressing. It's not good, you guys. You have to mix in the blue cheese. You need the moldy cheese for this to be appropriate, okay? If you're not from New York, maybe you don't agree with the blue cheese thing. So that's it. Then basically all you have to do is put it in the oven that I forgot to preheat. Of course, of course. And then you bake it and that's it. Then you can serve it with celery or carrots or some other healthy thing. But I mean, this is not gonna be healthy no matter how you do it. So when I eat non-healthy things, I just go all out with the non-health portion because there's no saving this. This is just basically all fat. And you know, I guess it would be keto. So we're gonna be dipping chips in the dip because that's what dips are for. Chips go with dips, that's why they rhyme. Celery does not rhyme with dip. Sorry, I do not make the rules. So here is the end result. Nice and bubbly and cheesy. Ready? <laughs> why does this never look as good as it does on TV? That was really underwhelming. Wait, I almost forgot the most important part to go with the apron. We have this wine. It's from one of my many wine subscriptions. I don't know, I'm a part of a lot of clubs. I'll have to see if Alta is any good. It's like Ulta, but for wine instead. And this is what I like to call dinner. Right, Dave? Cheers. Have a sip.